Frankenstein, Chapter 1 Chapter 1 Robert Walton's Letter. August 5. My dear sister. This letter will reach England by a merchantman now on its homeward voyage from Archangel, more fortunate than I, who may not see my native land, perhaps for many years. We have already reached a very high latitude, and it is the height of summer, but last Monday July 31st, we were nearly surrounded by ice which closed in the ship on all sides. Our situation was somewhat dangerous, especially as we were compassed round by a very thick fog. About two o'clock the mist cleared away, and we beheld in every direction, vast and irregular plains of ice. A strange sight suddenly attracted our attention. We perceived a low carriage, fixed on a sledge and drawn by dogs, pass on towards the north, a being which had the shape of a man, but apparently of gigantic stature, sat in the sledge and guided the dogs. We watched the rapid progress of the traveller until he was lost among the distant inequalities of the ice. Before night the ice broke and freed our ship. In the morning, as soon as it was light, I went upon deck, and found all the sailors apparently talking to someone in the sea, it was, in fact, a sledge, like that we had seen before, which had drifted towards us in the night, on a large fragment of ice. Only one dog remained alive, but there was a human being whom the sailors were persuading to enter the vessel. On perceiving me, the stranger addressed me in English. Before I come on board your vessel, said he, will you have the kindness to inform me whither you are bound? I replied that we were on a voyage of discovery towards the northern pole. Upon hearing this he consented to come on board. His limbs were nearly frozen, and his body dreadfully emaciated. I never saw a man in so wretched a condition, and I often feel that his sufferings had deprived him of understanding. Once the lieutenant asked why he had come so far upon the ice in so strange a vehicle. He replied, to seek one who fled from me. And did the man whom you pursued travel in the same fashion? Yes. Then I fancy we have seen him, for the day before we picked you up, we saw some dogs drawing a sledge, with a man in it, across the ice. From this time a new spirit of life animated the decaying frame of the stranger. He manifested the greatest eagerness to be upon deck, to watch for the sledge which had before appeared. August 17. Yesterday the stranger said to me, You may easily perceive, Captain Walton, that I have suffered great and unparalleled misfortunes. My fate is nearly fulfilled. I wait but for one event, and then I shall repose in peace. Listen to my history, and you will perceive how irrevocably my destiny is determined. 